Good morning, my friends. Fly, Eagles fly. Got my Eagles jersey on. Uh, we're heading to the Super Bowl. Can't wait. Uh, I'm filming this uh, Sunday night, so still waiting for the Chiefs and uh, Bengals uh, finish. That's tied as I'm recording this. So uh, looking forward to Super Bowl Sunday. Um, today is Monday of the fourth week in Ordinary Time. It's day 21 of Be Formed. And uh, I know those who um, are on my written blog, frburke23.wordpress.com, many people are not receiving the emails for some reason. I have a, a message into WordPress to see if we can figure this out. In the meantime, just go to my blog directly. Again, frburke23.wordpress.com. You can read the, uh, the daily readings there. You can also click on the link to get these, these videos on YouTube. So I apologize for the problem. I don't know what's happening. Periodically, it seems like we have uh, issues like this. But uh, let's look at this first reading from the letter to the Hebrews. So this is in chapter 11, and we're reading about some of the prophets here. So this is a New Testament book, but we're reflecting on the Old Testament. It says, I have not time to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, of David and Samuel and the prophets. So he said, there's so much to say about these men and what they did, um, but doesn't have time to write it all down. Who by faith conquered kingdoms. So the importance of faith. Uh, I can't stress how important it seems in, in scripture. Jesus connects faith and healing, um, faith and salvation. Uh, we see even in the Old Testament how important faith was in, in what these prophets were able to do. And they did what was righteous, so their action, so faith put into action. As St. James says, faith without works is dead. We don't earn salvation through our works, but if we don't put our faith into action, then he says, your faith is dead. What good is it? So they did what was righteous, uh, obtained the promises. Uh, they closed the mouths of lions, so imagine doing that. Uh, they put out raging fires. They escaped the devouring sword. Out of weakness, this is important, they were made powerful. So we hear St. Paul say in the second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 12, verse 10, he said, It's in my weakness that I'm made strong. And I never understood that until I realized, well, we're all sinners. These great prophets were sinners. We know David, his sin was very public about his adultery with uh, Bathsheba. Um, but when they leaned into God in their weakness, when they depended on God, then God's grace could work in, in their weakness and then they could be made strong. So think about in your own life, what are those places of, of weakness? You know, St. Ignatius says the, the devil is like a, a wise army general. He studies us as the enemy. He looks for the weak points in the fortress and there he attacks. And so if we know our weakness, Let's say, um, you know, purity, pornography is a struggle that someone has. If you know that, then when you're feeling tempted, get on your knees and beg God for his grace in those moments to strengthen you. Because if you try to do it yourself, you can't do it. But with God's grace, all things are possible. Um, they became strong in battle and turned back foreign invaders. So anything can happen when we lean into God. Um, it says, even some of the women received back their dead through the resurrection. So incredible things like uh, people rising from the dead uh, happen. He says, yet all these, though, though approved because of their faith, did not receive what had been promised. They weren't able to see Jesus, the Messiah. Um, but we have been blessed by that. We have 2,000 years of history since Jesus we know that he's the son of God. We know that he is the answer to all of our ills. And he invites us to have faith in him. And he invites us on mission as his followers, his disciples, and as apostles, those who are sent. So we've been blessed and we've been called to follow the Messiah on mission. So what are your charisms and gifts? Some people have the gift of administration, evangelization, some have the gift of hospitality, of teaching. What, is, what are your gifts? And how is God calling you to bring them into this mission, into his mission, 
to build up the body of Christ, to make more disciples as Jesus commanded. Go make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your Son, Jesus. We thank you for the great prophets, all the men and women who've gone before us in faith. Increase our faith. Help us to hear your voice. Help us to, to say yes to your call for us to go on mission with you. And Lord, help us to know the gifts that you've given us. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. To you and to your families, buen camino, and God bless you. And yes, once again, fly, eagles, fly.